In this video, we will take a look at the bottom-up construction of a heap. The bottom-up construction of a heap relies on one basic principle. It states that if we have two heaps, say H1 and H2, and we have an element K, then we need to construct a larger heap H with all the elements of H1, all the elements of H2 and K. So we can do this by doing this. So suppose we have heap 1 here and heap 2. Let us say that this is the root of heap 1, this is the root of heap 2. We can connect these two heaps with K as the root. After doing this, we need to change it to a larger heap H. So we need to basically say that with these elements in this connected tree, it's going to follow the heap property. How do we do that? We perform down heap bubbling. which is basically rearranging the elements of H1, K and H2 such that the heap property is satisfied. Down heap bubbling was covered in the previous video when we talked about deletions from a heap. As you can see, in this approach we are going to be using two smaller sub-problems solutions that is two smaller heaps to arrive at a larger solution. This is basically the principle of recursion and so it is intuitive that we use recursion to perform a bottom-up heap construction. So let's look at how we do bottom-up heap construction using an example. Let's say that the elements we want to add to our heap are 5, 4, 3, 2, 8, 7 and 6. So, given this list of elements, the first step is I am going to take the first element and call it K or the key. Now, the remaining elements I am going to split into two groups. That is going to be my H1 and H2. So what have I done? I have named the first element as K. I have given the first half of the remaining elements as H1 and the second half of the remaining elements as H2. So now what do I do? I have to somehow make these three elements a heap. So let's go and look at how I make 4, 3 and 2 a heap. So basically we are going to construct a heap out of 4, 3, 2. So this is what is going on in H1. We have 4, 3 and 2. I will perform the same steps I performed for these elements. The first element is going to be K. The first half of the remaining elements is going to be H1.1 and the second half of the remaining elements is going to be H1.2. So in this step what were we saying? We are saying that this is going to be our K and we are going to have an H1 and an H2. Once we construct H1 and H2, we will connect it using K and then apply down heap bubbling. So let's say in this, this means that we are going to have a K. We are going to add H1.1, H1.2, connect it using K and heapify or satisfy the heap property by rearranging using down heap bubbling. So now H1.1 is equal to a single node that is 3. A single node is already a heap, so we can 
replace h1.1 with the node 3. h1.2 is the same principle. It is a single element which can be considered a heap. So we are going to now place 4 as a root of 3 and 2. Now that we have placed k as the parent of h1.1 and h1.2, we need to check if the heap property is satisfied. Since this is going to be a min heap, the heap property is not satisfied. In this case, what must we do? We must do down heap bubbling. Therefore, we need to swap 4 with the smaller of its children that is 2 so that we get a tree that satisfies the heap property so we are going to get something that looks like this this is going to be our h1 now let's now that we have made h1 a heap let's look at h2 we have 8, 7 and 6. I'm going to apply the same steps. I'm going to keep the first element as k or key. I am going to set the first half of the remaining elements as h2.1. And I'm going to set the second half of the remaining elements as h2.2. So what am I saying? I'm saying that with key k, I can merge h2.1 and h2.2 giving the root as k and I'm going to perform down heap bubbling. Since h2.1 is a single element, we can consider it to be a heap. Since h2.2 is a single element, we can consider it to be a heap. And now these two heaps we are going to join using root 8. Now we will check if the heap property is satisfied. Since it's a min heap, we can say that 8 is going to be greater than its children, so it violates the heap property. So what must we do then? We must swap the parent with the smaller child. In doing so, we will get a tree which looks like this. So, this is a heap that satisfies the min heap property. So, this is going to be our H2. Now, we are ready with H1 and H2. What must we do? We must combine H1 and H2 giving K as the root. So, now we are going to see what H looks like. So we have h1 here which is 2, 3 and 4. We have h2 which is 6, 7 and 8. We are going to combine these using the root 5. Once we do that we have to check if the heap property is satisfied. So let's see this layer. The heap property is not satisfied since 5 is greater than 2. So I will swap. When 5 comes here, the heap property is not satisfied since 5 is greater than 3 and 4. So I will swap with the smaller element. So finally, 5 goes to the end. And I will get a heap which looks like this. This is going to be our final H. In this way, we have constructed a heap H with all of these elements using bottom-up approach.